Yo, Instagram, what's going on? It's your boy, Bean. August 7th, I'll be in Grand Prairie, Texas, teaching an educational class at Clutch Barber Supply. Throughout this educational class, I'll be teaching you guys a three-level enhancement technique that can basically skyrocket your services and make you way more revenue behind the chair. I'll be doing product breakdowns, which products to use in which situations, how to attack color enhancement, literally breaking it down to the T to you guys. Also, I'll be teaching you guys social media branding, how to become an influencer, how to analytically break yourself down, how to basically grow yourself and grow your platform to be bigger than it's ever been before. I'll also be going live with Clutch Barber Supply next Wednesday at 7 p.m. Do not miss that. Tickets are on sale right now for August 7th, Grand Perry, Texas, for the three-level enhancement and social media branding course. You do not want to miss it. Tune 45 product is in the building. Tune 45 is in the building, and the education is going to be through the roof. I'll see you guys there. Okay. And then, um, just line it up. Hey, you do, do like a regular line, line. line. Yep, like Okay. Regular okay, cool. All right. I got you. I got you. So to kick this haircut off, I'm going in using my gold comb. It's normally a harder comb that helps lift this hair off when the hair is thicker. And as you guys can see, my client basically has like a mohawk, but this is a different style mixed with 540 waves basically going around her head. And I just thought it was dope. You guys know I always get a bunch of weird or different hairstyles. So that's one thing that I like about my whole job is that I'm able to do haircuts like this. So I wanna pass through it with a number two as you guys seen in the consultation at the beginning of this haircut. She basically stated she wanted a number two. She wanted a taper oh, yeah. and she also wanted me to the freestyle design in her taper nape area. So I'm basically just wanna get this hair down to that one desired length. I'm prepping it all for all of his kill shots i know it's been a long time we definitely finna talk it's been crazy man it's since i moved to florida and i just recently opened up my actual schedule books for august 10th so if anybody wants to book an appointment with me because i'm not on the headlines booking app right now you guys can dm me on instagram at p-a-p-i-b-e-a-m poppy beam you can inbox me there we can set up your appointments i'm in tampa florida i'm set up i'm ready to go i'm I'm locked in. We finna get these videos back in rotation. So as you guys can see, I go in her nape area at least half an inch from the bottom and create a guideline. Then I go up another half of an inch, completely open my gamma mythics, giving myself room to create a nice transition in her taper area. I am ready right now. Like I'm locked in all the way right now. It's been a long, long, long time. And I go in with a number one right here, completely open as well. So yeah, it's been eight, nine months since I actually physically cutting the shop i left you know chicago october 19th and i just been really working setting my home up giving you know making my home an actual home for me not just you know living here in an empty space so like just filling my own house up staying focused elsewhere working on a bunch of my music that i'm getting ready to start to release like i have like over 50 60 songs now and you know i just been really working on myself breaking myself down and getting a better understanding of myself as a man like ever since I left Chicago you know that switch switched in me like I don't have to be as defensive I don't have to be as locked in in terms of the way that I live like I live in a gated community now and that's not to boost myself up that's not to do anything because you work hard to live in these areas throughout your life but the lifestyle was so different the community is so different the way of living is so different that I just overly indulged in this way of living now. Like I feel good to, to, to be here. 
So as you guys seen, I went in on my 116th guard and I was halfway with that and I cleared that area. Now I'm basically dropping my lever from open all the way down to halfway to close just so I could get a nice clean, you know, transition in this nape taper area and as you guys can see the taper coming together really beautifully i just got the two area towards the top of the taper to really knock out once i knock that area out oh, yeah, it's gun nice. smoke as you guys can see like this is clean like and this old footage like we talking about footage that happened in october like this is one of my last haircuts i got this one and i got one more that i'm actually gonna drop from chicago and then it's gonna be complete new footage because like i told you guys i just opened my books up in florida so again if you are in the tampa florida area and you want a service by beam dm me on instagram at poppy beam or drop it down at the comment section in the bottom of this and we'll figure it out and we'll try to set you up for an appointment as you guys can see Man, I got a lot of lineup work to work with. This look kind of crazy. My client's lineup is everywhere, but she wanted a real lineup. So as you guys can see, we finna box this thing out. We finna frame this thing out. We finna hop in that duffel like we usually do. So let's get started. As you guys can see, I basically flip that ear down. I start to bang out the tilts or the vertical bars of my nape area. Oh, and as I flip fine. the ear down, I use the corner of my blade to work myself around the ear. Just give me way more control of my trimmers. It give me more of a consistentness throughout the lineup. And I'm repeating the same steps here. As you guys know, this is just frame out work for me. This is my setup work. Start with my vertical bars, flip that ear down, use the corner of the blade as my wrist work to work myself around the corner of the ear giving me full control of this nape area lineup really easy really consistent and as you guys can see banger i'm just staying focused we're just trying to get throughout this whole haircut just ensuring that all our lines is intact now I start at the bottom of my sideburn area. One thing I like to do when somebody curvature area or they C cup area is really dense or really heavy, I like to put reference points, okay? So it's like, it's easier to put two reference points, which is my top curve and my bottom sideburn, and then connect them for my third reference point, which is my actual curve. Because when it comes to lineups, opposed to just putting my clippers down and creating one big Chicago C, as long as you create reference points between the C's it's easier to connect those lines it's easier to play connect the dots than it is to create just this perfect line always set yourself up with reference points to something that I teach in majority of my expo classes majority of my private classes like my class that I'm coming out to Grand Perry Texas for August 7th I better see y'all there any of my subscribers that's close to that Grand Perry August 7th, Texas class. Be at Clutch oh, yeah, Barber yeah. Supply. We it's can fine. shake hands, take pictures, chop it up, get a better understanding of each other. Like, that's something that I've been doing since I've been here since August, I mean, October 7th. Is I've been doing classes nonstop, even if I haven't been doing YouTube videos. So, to get back in the line, and I start in the middle area, and I start to basically create a nice small indentation in this area to start to create a line. I want to preserve as much hair in front of the mohawk as possible, but I also want to give a real realistic image and not pushing into her line but giving her a consistentness throughout her, her line up i'm not pushing her line into the end of her eyebrows but it's like three fourths of her eyebrows just giving it some realism because some people would just push it to the back of the eyebrows then it's heavily looked at as a pushback and that's just never been my style for me just because you know the end of the eyebrows is a good reference point for a lot of people in the world i'm not gonna do that to a woman who has a forehead naturally full of hair i'm gonna go either halfway or three-fourths in that eyebrow oh, yeah. in terms of distance and width just so I don't push her back too much you got to remember we barbers the hair that you take off now you can never get back but the smaller we start off with this lineup we can always stretch it out more and more and more to be contoured to the client head to actually fit their forehead foundation and that's what's important you gotta play this like a pro you have to look at everything that's going on and you have to be comfortable in this as you guys can see i'm slowly but surely tapping the hair i'm holding the hair with the back of my left hand i got some super sharp trimmers in my hand i know she got soft skin she a woman i'm not trying to hurt this lady's skin at all i'm not trying to do no damage to her skin at all i want to ensure that i can get this thing done as equally as possible but also give her a sharper image that she 
requested and asked for. At the end of the day, I'm a barber. I do what my clients ask for with a little bit of what I want to do. So as you guys seen, I set my reference points up. I did my vertical bar area, started at the bottom of my sideburn. And because this is the right side of her face, it's easier for me to come up from the bottom and completely whip that into a C and not create reference points because I'm on my stronger side in terms of my comfortability of whipping my clippers. Like, there's different levels of your comfortability side based on whatever hand you are. If you left-handed, the left side of the head gonna be easier to draw on. If you right-handed, the right side of the head gonna be easier to draw on. And as you guys can see, money. I go in with my boy Sean Cuts here, color enhancement car, assisting it with my Beam Team coilless compressor and my color no drip. Oh, yeah. Completely waterproof. We not worried about this coming off in the shower. We not worried about this coming off on a pillow at all. It's a matte color that just literally designed for the skin and the skin only. This doesn't just darken the hair This darkens and puts color on the skin It's no chemical base at all It's one of the safest products that you can use And the number one selling color product In the barber industry right now If I could tell you how much I appreciate All you guys out there Who've supported me buying a compressor Or supported me buying my color no drip I humbly appreciate you Tune 45 one of the greatest things I could have ever did. One of the greatest collaborations I could have ever did. We killed it with this product. And as you guys can see, I'm creating some depth. I'm giving her hair some more richer, fuller look. Based on her mohawk going up in the middle, it's creating this lightness in the front of her lining. So with that being said, me using the color is giving it more of a dense look, more of a darker image, and more of a sharper image. You know, she wanted that sharp image, oh, yeah. but she That's also fine. wanted to be able to get, you know, keep her mohawk in the middle, which she didn't style at this time she got it she had to go get a style but this was more of like a birthday cut type thing she was just wanted a sharp line up sharp clean cut nice nape design and then she was gonna leave here and then actually style the middle so as you guys can see this is coming together really good to me like now I'm gonna go in using a pencil and big, 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 big information, man. We got our own pencils out now, but this footage is super old, so I'm not using my pencil specifically, but I'm dropping footage like very soon using the Precision Pack 245 pencils, the best pencil on the market. What the lead is made out of is ridiculous. The consistency of the sharpener being on both sides, you being able to have two colors in one throughout the pencil, like it's ridiculous and you guys know when i'm doing this step i'm basically creating contrast between a lineup and the skin i want to give it a pop a flare a flash that icy look and whenever you come to beam channel that's something that i pride myself on i pride myself on giving sharper images and cleaner images and as you guys can see that is nasty right now like it looks really good so i go in behind it with my trimmers and hit that line and make that color spread across that skin gorgeously i'm just taking my time slowly but surely tapping slightly but surely i'm not overly playing my part and i press it into the client here i'm just flowing oh, yeah, i'm yeah. having fun yeah. man and as you guys can hear just even on this video like this is a one take i'm having fun just recording myself right now it's been eight to nine months since i gave you guys like real in shop things but it's been four to five months since i gave you guys a video so i just really feel like i'm obligated to have that energy to be here to really walk y'all through this thing to have fun so let's get into the nape area design as you guys can see i want to go in i'm creating a slight like you know u shape and then more of a z shape and then now starting to curve it and give it some ergonomicness to it so one thing i want you guys to know coming into the designs right off the bat don't ever overplay your part like as you guys can see it's really sketchy it's rough draft none of your lines are gonna be super prominent at the beginning besides the lines that's in the lighter areas so take your time with your design but also see it through as you guys can see i brushed the hair down now and now we finna look at this thing for what it truly is and start to stretch oh, yeah. these lines out and make them real prominent so as you guys can see, it's 2022, it's year to dream chases. I want everybody in my comment section to turn it up this year and chase them dreams. Go out there, go chase what you want. I was under the Super Gremlin video, you know, my first rap video that I dropped on my channel. And I looked at it, out of 900 comments, I only had 20 comments that was like negative or bad or something like that. With that being said, 800 plus comments of just greatness of people who loved it. I do barbering at the highest level and not everybody like it. But at the end of the day, you guys see me create influence. You guys see me 
me put my name in this game. I have products now. I'm an entrepreneur. Like, I own a multi-million dollar company in barbering now. So with that being said, don't ever let somebody deter you from what you got going on. Just because somebody don't like what you doing, don't mean at the end, like it's over at the end of the day or you can't make it doing what you doing. I have 60 songs in my clip ever since Super Gremlin. And yeah, I got 20 people who didn't like it, who didn't like the content that was being talked about. But that's my content. That's my life story that's my trauma that that's put into music like that and people won't get it until they living in predicaments and that's the difference between me and a bunch of these content creators a lot of people in this only want you to see them for whoever, whoever their character is through here i want to lay my character out in front of y'all my level of transparency is next to none when it come to youtube i'll never stand in the same box as no content creator and that's why i separate myself they not built from this cloth because everybody got something to hide but I at the end of the day, when you real, when you live in your truth as a man, it's impossible for somebody to break you down with words when you've been through it. I walked through this. This is what I've been through. I got so much more music on the way. I want y'all to chase y'all dreams. I want y'all to have fun. Remember, like, fall in love with being the individual that you are. Live in your truth. Because at the end of the day, you know what it is If you live in your truth Nobody could ever deter you Or tell you something different I got more music on the way Super Gremlins was literally Not even cookie crumbles Or not even sprinkles Compared to what I could really do In terms of harmonics Carry your melodies Vibes Music for the female It's on the way fellas Like when I tell y'all I'm locked in I've been cooking up my next video that I plan on dropping in a week or two after I handle the Grand Perry Texas class, I'ma just go ahead and throw a preview in there for y'all because I wasn't gonna ruin it. I want to come back and give y'all my energy. I wasn't gonna just throw no music in here today oh, yeah. without giving y'all the full clip. But as you guys can see, look at that. That design came out fire. Now we in the razor work, angling this razor at a 45 degree angle, bringing everything back to the actual lineup, staying consistent, brushing one, fade one, and just making sure everything is flush in this haircut. This looks beautiful she crispy as ever her nape area design is amazing and you know y'all know the type of person that i am i like to execute and then i like to get a mirror to the client so that's the only thing that i'm doing i'm cleaning her skin up i'm cleaning these areas up just to get a mirror to her and let's see what she think about this so as you guys know it's unfortunate that we live in this world where we got to create these lines for people we got to do these different weird haircuts but at the end of the day we are barbers this is our job this is what we do it's 2022 it's year to dream chases if barbering is whatever you want to do chase your dream if it's music chase your dream but at the end of the day y'all know what time it is and how i give it up let's lock in hashtag tbt in that comment section hashtag glacier gang we focus we locked in i got her icy as you guys can see this nape design is gorgeously done it's faded it's clean man this is just a beautiful 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 design as you guys can see it looks good the waves is laid this is just nice man I got a sharper image on the lineup this is dope shut up Yeah, I have to. I don't have no choice. How long has it been since you cut your hair, woman? Um, about two months. Okay, so as y'all see, YouTube, it's been two months since she had a haircut. She just woofed it out on the sides for me or whatever. And then when she came here, she told me exactly what she wanted. Y'all seen the consultation at the beginning of the video. The design was just a freestyle, something that I wanted to do myself. I appreciate y'all if y'all was able to watch this video. Remember, like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell because I do drop videos weekly and I drop nothing but bangers. Until next time.